Smoking and drinking during pregnancy should be punishable by law. The girlfriend of a good friend of mine is pregnant and won't stop smoking. She also goes out and comes home drunk. She is currently destroying the life of a person before it even started and I wish we could just call the police and have her locked up or something. We feel so helpless in this situation. I believe it is in some cases, at least with alcohol. Courts can and do intervene to protect the well-being of the developing baby. It can include direct orders to cease consuming alcohol, or civil commitment if the woman refuses to stop drinking. I'm not sure about criminal penalties, but it wouldn't surprise me if some of our laws can be used to hold the woman responsible for the reckless disregard of her child. I completely agree. My son's father was born addicted to crack. I still see the effects on him daily. His biological mother was put in mental health hospitals while pregnant to help with substance abuse but got out within a month or two. Not once got into legal trouble while pregnant, but did when he was a couple months old and got him taken away. Why did his life matter more after he was born instead of while he was in the womb? My sister has done a lot of research into this, and she said it's more common for children to have longer-term effects if the woman drank alcohol. It's fetal alcohol disorder, or something like that. It can cause so many problems throughout their entire life, whereas when babies are born addicted to drugs they tend to recover okay, once they have detoxed. It's fucking heartbreaking that anyone can do either of these things sad face. Bingo. Baby. Bingo. I feel horrible for your son's dad that he got subjected to that and might never really be free from the lasting aftereffects. I'm super pro-abortion, and that's partially because I hate seeing people have to live with the decisions of shitty DNA donors like your son's dad has had to. If I'd been the state putting his DNA donor into mental hospitals in order to get her off the crack before he was born, I would have ordered her to either abort or be locked into the facility until after he was born and eating formula from a bottle. Why are, parents, who are too selfish to put the brakes on them procreating a likely disabled person able to have the final say at the likely cost of their offspring's quality of life over the bulk of their existence? Clarification. I'm indeed writing this as a disabled person whose quality of life has been significantly lowered due to said disabilities, though none of my disabilities resulted from the person who birthed me using alcohol or other drugs while pregnant with me. Correction It is illegal to give or sell cigarettes to a child. The act of a child smoking isn't illegal depending on where you live. Where I currently live, if an officer saw a child smoking all they can do is inform them of the consequences and ask, not tell or demand, them to stop. If the child refuses to stop, they can't do anything. Of course this is different if they are smoking in a building or outside of designated smoking zones, but it's that way for everyone, not just children. Because there are women who have no idea they're pregnant. They're an entire show about it. My friend's mom didn't know until the third month. When her was nine months pregnant, she was barely showing. Baby was six pounds when she was born with FAS. How would you enforce this law? Force a woman to pee on a stick before giving her a beer. Women don't snap back after giving birth. They still have a stomach. What about fat women? There are studies that show being too fat harms a fetus too. What are you guys going to do about that? The problem with criminalizing this is that women who want help for their addiction while pregnant will be less likely to seek help and treatment. You also risk them not seeking any medical treatment during pregnancy in fear of being arrested, which would inevitably be worse for the baby and the mother. You want to encourage pregnant women to seek SU treatment and medical treatment, not to send them into hiding their addiction causing more harm to the baby. It would be more helpful to offer better access to birth control and family planning options and better access to treatment so that women could get their addictions treated before having a child or be under the care of a doctor if already pregnant without fear of criminalization. Source. Work and research for substance use and mental health treatment. Everything thing you say is true, dot and while that's a very good reason not to criminalize drinking and smoking while pregnant, to me the real problem is that people seem to think that a woman has fewer rights if she's pregnant. What's next? Policing pregnant women's consumption of soft cheese, sushi, and rare steaks. Should we outlaw certain medications? The whole idea that a pregnant woman would have special laws is insane. 
I'm a special ed teacher and fetal alcohol syndrome fucks kids up. It's so hard to diagnose too because many moms won't admit to drinking, especially when their drinking can be the cause of their child's disability. It's very difficult to help those kids because their brains are not consistent so pinpointing skills to work on is a challenge, and they might get things one day but not the next. There was a woman in the hospital when I had my baby who was a very, very heavy smoker. She was in the same ward as me and I couldn't be in there without the third hand smoke coming off her making it hard to breathe. She literally left the building every 10 minutes or so to go and have a cigarette. It was upsetting, in a ward full of people doing their best to keep their babies healthy, to watch this one woman not give a single shit. I agree this is a horrible thing to do to another human being and people who are pregnant should be doing everything they can to give that child the best shot at a good life. However, I don't believe in legislating this. I don't trust the government to do a good job of it, I don't trust the government to take good care of the women who are locked up and pregnant, would they be stressed? abused, fed properly? I'm not justifying this woman's actions at all, but there are lots and lots of morally and ethically bad things that we do not legislate on and enforce by law. It sucks and I hate it, but I just don't see this as an issue of the law, definitely medical, rehab, family intervention, etc. are valid approaches and I would encourage. I 100% agree with what you've said. I think we handle situations like this well in the UK, or at least where I live in the UK. This is seen as a form of child abuse, neglect and the mother can then be referred to social services. There she can be given education on why such behaviors are bad for a developing fetus and if she is experiencing addiction issues she can be given relative support to combat that. Of course it's not a perfect system but it's better than criminalization. So let me tell you about this situation. My mom didn't know she was pregnant with my older sister until she was already three and a half months along. She didn't have morning sickness and she had light bleeding during the time that would have been her period, which is normal, so she just assumed it was her period. When she found out, she was mortified and scared because she had been drinking. Nothing insane, but a glass or two of wine or beer about once a week, like a normal person. She told her doctor about it and he said the baby looked healthy after the routine tests. Obviously she stopped drinking the second she knew she was pregnant. My sister is fine of course. Now let's imagine if that was illegal. Does a woman deserve to go to jail for that? How does a woman prove in court that she didn't know she was pregnant? This law will only discourage women like my mom to be open and transparent with their doctors. It will only discourage women with addictions from seeking help. This is a terrible terrible idea unless the punishment is a rehab facility if that person has a drinking or drug addiction. Why do people think just throwing someone as prison is the only option? You throw a pregnant woman who drinks and smokes in jail, then what? Does the mother now endure hellish prison conditions in addition to holding a child? By the way those prison conditions and environment would not only make that pregnancy miserable but the birth of a child in an even worse situation. Arresting a woman in this situation accomplishes literally nothing. I admit this is very bad, but I don't think an execution of such law would be possible in a civilized manner, and there are also moral questions about it, like should the state come to your bedroom, look under your skirt. My recommendation is to abstain from sexual intercourses with addicted chicks, smoking, drinking, drugs. Let's imagine the consequences, moms charged with this, gets abortion in case is dropped or found guilty and goes to jail leaving her other young kids without a mom or charged but gives birth before the trial so it's a mute point. Likewise, everyone living, working with her should face charges for smoking in her presence since it'll affect the fetus. I'm sorry but it's not a realistic law. Would we ban everything that can be harmful for the fetus? So punish pregnant women for eating olives, deli meats, raw cheese and the numerous other risky foods. Oh, you had sushi for dinner? Go to jail, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Is that a charcuterie board you've got there? Here's a heft fine. What about women who don't know they're pregnant? Do they get charged with a lesser version of the crime if they drink and smoke? The outcome is potentially the same. Yes, it's awful your friend is putting her unborn child at risk. Sounds like she will be a pretty bad mom. 
However, at the end of the day just because we know something can be harmful doesn't mean we can really justify putting laws in place. Whoa whoa whoa. I'm pro-choice but I absolutely agree that drinking and smoking while pregnant is inherently wrong. The whole aspect of pro-choice is that if you choose to keep the baby then you do everything and anything in your power to make sure that baby will be okay, including to swear off drugs and alcohol for at the bare minimum of 9 months. If you choose to abort then that is your own choice as well. So that when the baby is born it will either not have a mother because she's in prison have damage from the mother undergoing so much during the pregnancy form being locked up, or being aborted so the mother can avoid this mess altogether. No matter how you spin it the child loses. Instead the mother should be offered counseling and support so she quits willingly. This same opinion comes up like once a month. And I yet again say, that's dumb. There's about a thousand reasons. But main ones will be, many women don't know they are pregnant in the beginning and won't know to not smoke or drink. Also, it is well known a woman can comfortably have a glass of wine every once in a while, while pregnant. Drinking profusely is a problem. And you seriously want to put a pregnant woman in jail or give her a record when this little human is growing inside her? Fuck that. Women have a hard enough time with it. Many aren't bad about smoking and drinking, only a few. And those are the ones that need abortions, not punishment by law. Smoking and drinking while pregnant shouldn't be illegal. Having a child you don't want and cannot support should be illegal. I will also bet anything you are a man. It should be when it causes various health problems for said child. Op gender has nothing to with anything. In fact it seems you're sexist for even bringing up gender anyway. Women who cause damage to their unborn children are pure garbage. You think I am a man too? Tears of joy women want equality. Well then we females are not victims or any more special than males. I don't agree with abortion unless some circumstances, but damn, abort the child instead of inflicting damage to his or her's health. So are you stating if a couple gets pregnant unexpectedly, that should be illegal? You do realize a lot of men, women, change their mind once they are expecting a child right? But causing damage to an innocent person's health because you don't want to put down the wine and stop getting high shouldn't be illegal? As humans we suck bad. At least in my state if there is reason to believe you were using during your pregnancy the hospital will drug test you at birth. If positive, DCFS can suspend your custody and guardianship of your baby. I remember something on the news a while back of something like this happening to a woman who had a poppy seed bagel while pregnant and she had tested positive for cocaine I believe don't quote me on that it's a vague memory. I also had a co-worker who still doesn't have custody of her child who is now 6 because she was using during pregnancy and DCFS stepped in at birth. I get what you are saying but I think it would be very dicey to try and draw up a law like that. I think you would have to do it in a way where if a baby is born with fetal alcohol syndrome or some other developmental disorder linked to substance abuse that would be something you could charge the mother with. But I would be very uncomfortable with a zero-tolerance type law where you get charged with one drink in a nine-month period or a smoke in a moment of stress while otherwise doing the right thing during the pregnancy. I live in the USA and it potentially could be punishable by law. If the baby is born into withdrawals the parents could lose custody. Granted they could regain custody but depending on how things play out this could lead them getting charged with abuse, neglect. I'm an ed nurse and women how use during pregnancy is a complicated subject both emotionally and physically. Once the fetus is at a certain stage the fetus will go through withdrawals in the womb which could cause a miscarriage and other complications. And most time these women do not know they are pregnant until the fetus is at this stage. In the medical community there are a lot of different debates about how to treat these situations medically. The main argument is there are addicts who give birth to healthy babies and women who do not use any substances that have babies with complications. I am a server and last Saturday night a family came in at 10.30 p.m. and the pregnant wife, already a mom of two young kids they had with them out that late, ordered one glass of champagne. I thought she was slurring her words already but wasn't sure, anyways I took it to her since that is, allowed. She tried to order a second one. I told my manager and my manager told her we weren't comfortable serving her more drinks. They then left without leaving a tip and the table completely trashed smiley face. 
I was so shook and felt horrible for her children. I'm not trying to be edgy with this comment, but if you're pro-choice don't you need to disagree with this by default? I'd imagine it takes some mental gymnastics to argue otherwise, for the record, I am pro-choice, I saw another comment telling people, to have some nuance, with respect to this situation, but tbh I don't see it. You're acknowledging that you're hurting a living being. I don't see how you couldn't oppose abortion by correlation. This might be her way of communicating it. Might be something personal on my side but I'm absolutely fucking sick of people not being able to speak up. If you're having issues don't blame me for not being able to read your stupid signs. Get the words out of your mouth. I've been there. I suffer from depression and couldn't talk about it for a long time. The thing is, I eventually consulted a professional who thought me how to speak about my issues. It's your fault and your personal weakness when you can't speak up and won't consult a professional with your issues. This is probably the truly unpopular opinion, but women get to do what they want, even if they are gestating a potential human. To say otherwise is to put a burden on women that men just will never have. It's either body autonomy or it's not, as hard as that is to reconcile. Will people judge? Yes. Can their baby be taken from a parent at birth because of drug or alcohol abuse, or other reasons? Yes. Other than that, we risk falling into trying to control women's bodies. I'm not okay with that at all, ever. As a pregnant woman I couldn't agree more. I'm 30 weeks and baby is perfectly healthy, but in the beginning I was sick to my stomach knowing I had a few margaritas the week before finding out I was about 5 weeks pregnant. I know this is super common early on but I worried so much about the effect it could have had. Obviously that's a really typical example and what you're talking about is much more severe, but I can't imagine a mother knowingly doing this to her unborn child. I know there are some people and even some doctors who think alcohol in moderation, wine here and there, is okay, but to take that risk, is it really worth it? It's awful. Obviously this is just my personal opinion, but it reflects yours, which I don't find to be unpopular at all. Please don't beat yourself up about those five weeks. The human body, fetuses included, is stronger and more resilient than we give it credit for. Your body, especially while pregnant, is going to do whatever it can to protect itself. You found out that you were pregnant, then stopped. I'm not saying that everyone should excuse alcohol, smoking, etc. during the early phase, but babies aren't as helpless as we think they are. I'm glad your baby is healthy. As for the situation op mentioned, that's just bad and all praying for that child. I had a co-worker that always cried about how she wanted to be pregnant and tried different fertility treatments. Then when she was pregnant, she'd smoke cigarettes and said that her doctor told her she could. Which I know for a fact is a lie. We have the same obgin. She always claimed she miscarried then another couple of weeks say that she was pregnant again. Never stopped smoking or drinking hard liquor. How can this become pro-life or pro-choice? If you don't want a child for whatever reason, you should have the choice to end the pregnancy before it's actually a child. If you're obviously keeping the pregnancy and drink, smoke throughout the entirety of the development of the fetus into an actual baby, you are causing bodily harm. It's abuse. It's negligent. Fetal alcohol syndrome is an awful thing. Smoking causes horrible lifelong issues for the child. These are totally different issues and it's ridiculous to say otherwise emo. If abortion or valid education for to be mothers is not available, okay that's a different thing. Sex education all education really, and safe available clinics for sexual health needs is always the answer to this shit though. Always. There is ample evidence that a small amount of alcohol during pregnancy can actually support brain development of the fetus. Additionally, stress during pregnancy can cause long-term mental, emotional damage to the child into adulthood. In Puritan America, any alcohol during pregnancy is frowned upon, however, other countries actually support a very few ounces a day to keep mom mellow and encourage fetal brain development. Also if mom is very addicted to cigarettes, doctors may encourage her to smoke just a little rather than being distressed by totally quitting. And this is only one of several arguments against your opinion. This opinion comes from a place of privilege at best. Problem with fetal alcohol syndrome is that most babies are damaged by mum drinking alcohol in the first month when most women don't even know they are pregnant and so couldn't know they were damaging their baby. 
After the first month it's less likely to harm baby. I can't believe I had to scroll this far to find one person who realizes this. Must be all dudes in here, so here's a newsflash. Women's bodies don't send us text notifications as soon as conception occurs, and many forms of birth control stop periods from occurring, so there's no missed period when you're constantly taking hormones and don't have periods. Therefore, if the birth control fails, a woman likely wouldn't know for a while unless the symptoms are severe. So what the op is suggesting is that a woman who just found out she's four weeks along and posted a picture at a bar a couple weeks ago should be thrown in jail. That's ridiculous. What's next? Every woman who orders a drink at a bar or tries to buy a bottle of wine has to take a pregnancy test before she's allowed to purchase alcohol? Just. No. SMH I'm not supporting people knowingly drinking or smoking when pregnant, but laws like this don't work because, drumroll please, women are people, and we are not second-class citizens, nor are our bodies public property. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I completely agree 100%. It all comes down to choice really. It's seen a risk factor, much like obesity. Being obese during pregnancy can cause major complications, however you can't arrest a woman because she is categorized as obese and won't do anything about it. It's a very strange way of looking at it but that's what the law does. You can't have an abortion legally in some places but you can drink yourself and your baby to death. I feel like this would loop back around to whether people see a fetus as a human being or not. If you do, then you'll likely be less inclined to smoke, drink. If not, then a person may not have an issue lighting up or drinking. I've always been on the fence about the issue and personally don't really care either way. I don't believe in punishing people for putting anything in their body but I also don't condone smoking, drinking while pregnant while at the same time don't feel compelled to have to intervene if someone is. I'm pro-choice but think there should be penalty for this. It gets very iffy though. Some people smoke and drink like crazy and have healthy babies, others stay sober and have unhealthy ones. There definitely is a strong established link, but for years people didn't know it was an issue. A doctor won't recommend quitting smoking when a kid is in the womb, just cutting way back as the stress of quitting can actually harm the child more surprisingly. But with this, we should also draw a line. I think if a parent does drugs when the kid is in the womb and it shows up on test results, the mom will lose custody to the state. But most moms who do drugs will just get a midwife so there is no hospital blood tests. It has been shown that smoking, drinking, eating unhealthy food, starving, could be from eating disorders, drugs, and pollutants can alter the epigenetic tags, methyl and ethyl groups mainly, and that this can be transferred to the next generation and lead to disorders. If a woman is exposed to any of these things from the point of conception, or a male after the point of puberty, they can pass bad epigenetics down for a number of generations. But enforcing that would be unreasonable so a line should be drawn before that. Fine but mental health is a funny thing. It's probably a case-by-case -case basis. Someone negligent sure. Someone who is walking a mental health tightrope I need more info to judge. Some people get very self-destructive when they are going down a road they unconsciously don't want to be on. But I totally get the born child's right to life can't be entirely ignored. It's a tough one. I agree, it's insane that women are being barred from abortions but can cause a child to have FAS or other issues associated with this behaviors they have no control over. Edit. To clarify this wouldn't justify anti-abortion sentiments. It's more abortion sentiments justify barring women from drinking and smoking during pregnancy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you are new, subscribe and click on the bell icon.